Nintendo Switch OLED Review If you're new to the Switch, go for the Nintendo Switch OLED. An extra $50 will get you the best gaming experience, along with a better display and other quality improvements. The Switch OLED offers an improved viewing experience, as its brighter and more vibrant display makes the best Switch games look even better. For a preview, take a look at an OLED displayed modern Android smartphone or iPhone. If you already own a standard Switch, the upgrades do not warrant buying it again. It might be best to wait for a 4K variant, which may or may not be available. Despite all that, the Switch OLED shines as an impressive device by its lonesome. It sports a spectacular hybrid design, an abundance of remarkable games, and a primary concentration on gaming. If you have been wavering about buying a Switch, the OLED is the one to get. Continue reading for a complete Nintendo Switch OLED review. Once you have purchased one yourself, study our Nintendo Switch OLED Starter Guide so you can learn how to exploit it effectively. And take a look at our most anticipated Nintendo Switch games for 2022 list. If you would like to learn about the features of the Nintendo Switch OLED, I suggest you look at our review. It provides information on the system's size and shape, portability, controllers, online components, and a wide selection of games. To start with though, it is similar to the base model console. The Nintendo Switch OLED is about the same size as the original Switch, measuring 9.5 by 4.0 by 0.6 inches. The Nintendo Switch is bigger than the light version, but it still fits comfortably in the hands of adults and teens for extended periods. Because the Switch OLED keeps the same design as its predecessor, all of your accessories will still be compatible. Putting the Switch OLED into regular Switch case made life easier right away. Although it does weigh slightly more than the original Switch, at 14.9 ounces versus 14.1 ounces, wasn't bothered by the additional bulk of the OLED device in extended use. However, generally speaking, a lighter is preferable when it comes to handheld consoles. Physically, the OLED Switch has some major differences from the original model and one minor alteration. The obvious change is its upgraded 7-inch OLED display instead of the 6-inch LCD on the base Switch. The Switch OLED centerpiece is the OLED screen, and it is where we must bestow most of Nintendo's applause. This larger display creates refined visuals with energizing colors and extremely deep blacks. When playing a game that contains murky worlds, including Metroid Dread's extraterrestrial caves, or The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wilds is ominous fortresses, the environment appears to be even more captivating than before. Though the image resolution between a 7-inch OLED and a 6-inch LCD are almost equal, there is a world of distinction in their color depth. At the same time, it is important to take into consideration that our eyes eventually become accustomed to almost anything. When first switched from the base switch to the OLED model, the larger display and more realistic colors amazed me. In just a short half hour, however, had gotten used to them and focused solely on gameplay. Moreover, when reverting back to the basic switch initially felt like a significant decrease yet afterward was insignificant. As there are several reasons for doing so, I'd advise those who already own a switch against getting the OLED version. The visuals are nice but won't be drastically different from what you already have. Additionally, the resolution is still limited to 720p and the console could lag in certain gameplays. Don't stress about the OLED display and the Nintendo Switch burning in, it takes around 3600 hours of continuous use before even subtle signs of ghosting appear. The Switch OLED has an upgraded kickstand that runs the full length of the device, unlike before when it was just a flimsy plastic piece. This also makes it able to stand securely on any surface without having to worry about sudden falls. 